Welcome to the regional training and orientation and aging level command and This kind of training is comfortable. Ready na ba kayo? Kung ready na, let's begin. To start the training, the regional training, I would like to introduce one of the talented and hardworking OER core leader from the largest province of Bicol Peninsula, ang guwapong maestro ng SDO Camarín de Sur, Mr. Gabriel Flores. Together with the amazing and lovely lady, ang daragang magayon ng SDO Albay, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Rose Ann Reunal, a virtual clap of applause. Marhay na aga, Bicolaja. Coming together is a beginning, and staying together is progress. But only when teams sweat together do they find success by John Maxwell. To the Erudite Regional Director, Gilbert T. Sadsad, and ARD, equally competent SDSS in the 13 school divisions, and to the dedicated ITOs led by Regional ITO Salvador Dato Jr., to Iriga City Division, the host division of this undertaking, to our supportive PSDSS, school heads, and to the team of the crop, school ICT coordinators in programs and projects, both in elementary and secondary schools, Friends in education, a blissful morning to everyone. Welcome to the first regional training and orientation on Adobe Creative Educators Level Levels 1 and 2. two. I'm Rose Andirina, a junior high school teacher from UAS Polytechnic School in SDO Albay. And this is Gabriel E. Flores, teacher 1 from Villazor National High School, SDO Comsur, your host, host for, for today's training. training. To formally begin with, let us sing prepare for the Philippine National Anthem and seek God's guidance by saying a prayer. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Heavenly Father, the fount of all goodness and grace, the cause of wisdom, the source of intelligence, we welcome you, O Lord, to this auspicious gathering of your beloved, who continuously give you thanks for every opportunity to learn something new and become fruitful to the works of your creation. We humbly come to you, not because we are worthy, but because we find ourselves in need of you, who is our strength and our hope. 
to continue despite the challenges we face in health, prosperity, and our solidarity with one another. We pray that today's gathering, made possible by the grace of advancements in technology and social media, become successful in its endeavors so we can offer it back to you as our humble offering to honor you, glorify you, and love you through our deeper connection with everyone. May we find bliss in today's session and become more productive children and co-creators of the earth. This we ask and pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. the cream of the crop as Mom Romeline Espanto of Salvation Elementary School, SDO Iriga City, present today's participants. Good morning! Taking upon the challenge of commitment and active participation in this regional training and orientation, on Adobe Creative Educator is no easy task. This platform serves as haven of our dear participants. Allow me to recognize and present the 2,045 eager prospects coming from Division of Albay, 354, Camarines Norte, 137, Camarines Sur, 465, Katanduanes, 412, Iriga City, 60, Ligaspi, 59, Ligao, 56, Masbati City, 60, Masbati Province, 12, Naga City, 52, Sorsogon City, 
76, Sorsogon Province, 236, and Tabaco, 66. Your participation and constant attendance is fundamental in the success of this activity. Good luck and keep that passion burning to better serve our community. Thank you. motivated, let us hear some pearls of wisdom from SDS Danilo E. Despi of SDO Iriga City, the host division. Good morning to our DepEd Central and Regional officials, particularly our Regional Director, Dr. Gilbert T. Sansad, and all the participants and facilitators of this regional training and orientation on Adobe Creative Educator Levels 1 and 2. Our present educational landscape calls that all our teachers must be adept with digital learning and teaching. It is said that digital learning is any type of learning that is accompanied by technology or by instructional practice that makes effective use of technology. It encompasses the application of a wide spectrum of practice including including blended and virtual learning it is timely and imperative that we conduct this kind of activity as teachers you must hone your skills to develop your abilities to find to evaluate to utilize share and create content using information technology i know it is not easy to shift from one platform to another but with your information and communication skills, coupled with both cognitive and technical skills, everything is possible. This activity is also grounded on the multisensory approach in teaching, where activities are based on whole brain learning, which is believe, believe that the best way to teach concepts is by involving multiple areas in the brain, by adding auditory or visual com components to reading assignments like illustration and activities, you can help students develop stronger literacy skills. Again, good morning and welcome. So that was Sir Danilo E. Despi, Schools Division Superintendent of SDO Erika City. Thank you, sir. Surely our participants are really motivated for today's endeavor. Due to equally important tasks, our regional director, Sir Gilbert E. Sadsad, is sending his wishes and all the best to all our participants. And wait, there's more. That was one of his famous lines that I can still remember. Sending kind thoughts and wishes to our head in depth at ICTS ETU, Sir Mark Anthony C. for his inspiring message.
Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat dyan sa SDO Iriga City sa pangunguna po ng inyong Regional Director na si Ginoong Gilbert Sadsad at gayon din po sa inyong SDS na si Ginoong Danilo Despi. Magandang magandang umaga po. Sa lahat ng ating mga kaburo, nakabahagi po ng programang ito sa pagpapalakas ng ating kakayanan sa paggamit ng Adobe Software Tools, isang mapagpalang umaga po. When we talk about innovation, it usually deals with high-end softwares na nangangailangan ng asanayan para magamit ito. DepEd is actually doing its best to provide our teachers and learners the necessary software that we need to use. To meet the demands of the future. Ang Adobe Software Tools ay isang kagamitan na hindi na natin maiaalis sapagkat pinapahusay nito ang kakayan ng panteknolohiya natin lalo na onto the creative side. Hindi ba't napakarami ang mga digital creators sa kasalukuyan? Lahat ng ito gumagamit din ng Adobe Tools, industry aligned. Kaya po sa ating mga kaguro na susubok po, at gagamit po ng teknolohiyang ito, maganda rin po na tayo ay ma-certify. Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 and Level 2 is very necessary for us to uplift, upgrade, reskill, and upskill among ourselves. Napakahalaga po nito sapagkat kung tayo ay may ganitong klase ng kakayanan, ay maipapasa din natin sa ating mga mag-aaral. If we wanted to grow professionally, dapat po natin i-include dito ang software Thank you, Sir Mark Anthony CC, our head in depth at ICTS ETU. And truly, in depth, there is always more. Are you all excited? Feeling motivated? We, we hope, hope so. so. Now, to be guided accordingly, let us carefully grasp the webinar protocols, our do's and don'ts, as we listen to Mam Rowena Abuel of Carmel High School from SDO Kamsu. Good morning, everyone. These are the protocols in our webinar. First, be on time. Be ready at least 10 minutes before the activity begins for us to avoid missing any important information. Second, dress appropriately. Third, situate yourself in quiet place so there will be no disruption. Fourth, listen attentively. Fifth, keep an open mind as you listen to the speaker. Sixth, inquiries and clarifications will only be entertained after the talk or if the speaker calls for it. Seventh, please use the chat box or comment section for your concerns. 8. Respect co-attendees or co-participants. 9. Do and submit the given activities. This is an output-based webinar, so no output, no certificate. 10. Accomplish attendance and evaluation forms. 11. Should you have any clarifications and concerns about the webinar, you may chat personally the technical working group before, during, or after the webinar. And last one, sit back, learn, and enjoy. Thank you. Much, Mom Rowena Abuel of Carmel High School from SDO Consor. I totally agree to Dylan William that if we create a culture where every teacher believes they need to improve, not because they are not good enough, but because they can be even better, there is no limit for what we can achieve. Let us be enlightened as we uncover our learnings and empty our cups and get ready with all ears to have fun in learning. 
to introduce the resource speaker for level one certification, may I call on from Kabaangan High School, Legaspi City Division, the committed national OER leader, one of Bicol's finest, here is Ma'am Venus J. Kahapay. A pleasant morning, everyone. It is with pride to introduce to you our esteemed guest speaker. He is a senior educational technology specialist, a project lead of Adobe for Education. Before, he is one of the educational technology specialists in the ICTS Educational Technology Unit, Department of Education, Philippines. He joined the Department of Education on June 2017 as senior high school EVL ICT teacher. He served his school San, Nas San Jose National High School, Talibon Bohol, as senior high school teacher and ICT coordinator. He has been an instructor and teacher trainer at the Bohol Island State University, teaching BS Computer Science and Computer in Education. He pursued his study in MA units in Educational Management at Bohol Institute of Technology International College in Bohol. He worked for 11 years in the State University Computer Science Department before joining the Department of Education. He has been a resource person related to computer and information technology. He is an active Philippine Navy reservist in the Armed Forces of the Philippines during his time in DepEd. He is very productive in his serving or in his journey. In 2017, he graduated in Microsoft Education Ambassador Program and awarded as Above and Beyond Award by Microsoft Philippines. As Above and Beyond Duties as Microsoft Education Ambassador. In 2018, he awarded in the division Pasidumong Praise as top performing program implementer in ICT in 2019. He was invited by EduTech Philippines to speak about VR in SMX Convention Center. And the following year, invited again by EduTech Asia to speak over thousands of educators around the world. It is to be held in the Singapore, but it was postponed due to COVID-19. With his knowledge and expertise in technology, as DepEd National Trainer in Office 365, he was invited to different areas in the Philippines to share and empower educators for teaching and learning. He is a Google Certified Educator Level 1, Adobe Creator Educator Level 1, and Verified Cisco Introduction to Cybersecurity. He is also confirmed by the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, TESDA, as National Tibet in Computer System Servicing NC2, 2D Animation NC3, and Visual Graphics Design NC3. Friends, let us virtually welcome Mr. Glenn L. Polanyo, a virtual applause. Ayan, so thank you so much po, ma'am, uh, for a great introduction. Um, uh, good morning po sa lahat po ng, uh, sa ating MC po uh, this morning. Good morning. At sa lahat po ng mga guru na nood po sa atin sa Region 5, um, good morning po sa lahat. Uh, before we start po, uh, nice ko pong uh, papasalamatan po ang ating regional director po, si um, R.D. Gilbert Sadsad po. Uh, R.D., good morning. Um, ang ating uh, regional ITO, uh, Sir Salvador Dato Jr. Good morning po at saka kay Sir Danny po ang ating SDO. Ayan. So, thank you so much po na nainbitahan po ang uh, ICTS uh, DepEd EdTech Unit uh, para po makapagbahagi po sa ating 2,000 plus na mga teachers po in the Region 5, uh, particularly po sa Bicol po. Ayan. So, thank you so much. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, so um, I introduce myself. Uh, I am Glenn L. Ranyo, uh, Microsoft Certified Trainers, uh, Microsoft Office Specialist. Uh, I am one of the Senior Educational Technology Specialist this year. Um, yours truly uh, leading the Adobe for Education and the uh, uh, Central Office. So, ang um, uh, Adobe Creative Edu uh, Educator or yung tatawag natin na Ace Level 1 and Ace Level 2 at saka Ang lahat po ng training ng about Adobe for Education ay uh, nanggagaling po sa uh, ating office as a uh, project lead for Adobe Education. Ayan. So, unang-una, uh, babanggitin natin, ano po ba yung Adobe? Ano po ba yung DeepEd Adobe for Education? Ayan. So, ano po ba yung DeepEd Adobe for Education? So, ang DeepEd Adobe for Education, alam naman po natin na uh, ang central office po ay nag-allocate or nagbigay po ng mga subscriptions sa teachers po natin for Adobe Creative Cloud. Ayan. So, uh, for information, uh, this uh, last year 2021, nagkaroon po tayo ng 180,000 po ng mga licenses for Adobe Education. Ayan. So, kaya nga po, yun po yung mga license or subscription na ibinibigay natin or ibinibahagi natin sa ating mga teachers. Ayan. Yung mga selected teachers na nakapag-comply po ng output based on ACE Level 1. Ayan. So, yan po yung uh, hinihingi namin na uh, output para magkaroon po ng tinatawag natin or may award natin yung uh, Adobe Subscription Program. Ayan. So, yan po. Um, wait lang po. Sagit lang. So yun, yun yung mga uh, uh, tinatawag natin na mga licenses and subscription. Yeah. Okay. So ang ating uh, session po uh, sa uh, morning na ito, okay, about uh, Adobe for Education, ay magsisimula lang po tayo or uh, kumbaga uh, may bahagi natin through ships po siya. Ayan. So Pag ma-encounter natin yung mga shapes, ito po yung tinatawag natin na may movement po tayo sa ating discussions this morning. So, ang circle po ay nags, na, nagsisimula po siya sa ACE, yan, sa, sa training ng ACE natin. Okay, yung mga shapes dito, uh, dalalhin natin sa Credly at saka yung sa PDLMS. So, ito po yung uh, symbol na uh, nag-represent po sa ating session this morning. Yan. Okay. So, how to be an Adobe Creative Educator Ace Level 1? So, paano po tayo um, matatawag or paano po tayo pumasa okay, to be an Adobe Creative Educator Ace Level 1? Okay, so number one, unang-una uh, is getting started with Adobe for Education. Okay, so yun po yung, yung uh, una po natin gagawin, getting started with Adobe for Education. So kaya nga po, uh, ang Adobe Free Education ay nagkaroon po tayo ng tinatawag natin na online platform or website na doon po tayo um, mag-register. Okay? Doon po tayo mag-register and we can access resources and materials on the deck. Okay? So doon po sa yung tinatawag natin na uh, Adobe Education Exchange. Ayan. So getting started with the Adobe Free Education... Pangalawa po is learning how to get an Adobe Certified Educator Level 1 credential. So dito po sa session po natin, ituturo po natin kung paano po siya makukuha yung Adobe Certified Educator Level 1 credentials. Ayan. So alam naman po natin na ano, um, pag tinatawag natin na uh, ACE Level 1, parang hindi pa po siya madugong laban okay? yung ACE Level 1. Pero talagang uh, subaybayan po natin yung sessions kasi uh, naka-step naka by step po yung ituturo po natin dito kung paano po siya makukuha yung uh, ACE Level 1 credentials po natin. Ayan. Number three, 
creating design using Adobe Sparks. Ayan. So, nabanggit na po natin ngayon yung tinatawag natin na Adobe Sparks. Yan. Creating a design using Adobe Sparks. So, I think sa mga teachers po natin na nanood po natin ngayon at saka sa mga kung may students man sa bahay na nanood natin. Okay? Parang mag-spark sa atin talaga, no? Parang mag-spark sa atin talaga yung tinatawag natin Adobe Sparks. Parang nanibago tayo sa tatawag natin na Adobe Sparks Applications. So, creating designs using the Adobe Sparks Applications. So, ang Adobe Sparks Applications, ito po ay kasama po sa ating subscription po sa ating Adobe Creative Cloud. So, once magkaroon na po tayo ng license, once active na po or activated na po yung ating Adobe Creative Cloud na subscription, makikita na po natin ang ating mga applications na kasama po doon sa ating subscriptions. So, pag kinatawag natin ng mga applications na kasama sa ating subscriptions, yun po yung uh, tinatawag natin na uh, apps involved na sa subscriptions po natin. Like for example, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Premiere Pro, okay, um, Lightroom. Ayan. So, yan po yung mga sample ng mga applications na kasama po doon sa ating Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. So, napakaganda po. Uh, let's enjoy work it out on the applications na kasama po sa ating Adobe Creative Cloud subscriptions. Ayan. So, and number four is claiming procedures. So, paano po natin siya i-claim po yung ating uh, credentials or badge po ng uh, as Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. Ayan. Okay, so I share you with the quote. So creativity is uh, as important as uh, literacy. So very clear po according to Ken uh, Robinson. Okay, is from uh, a best-selling author uh, led national by international projects on a creative and cultural education across the world. So creativity is as important as a lit as literacy. So ang creativity talaga is napaka-importante po talaga yung creativity. Kasi sa creativity po, marami pong papasok po sa ating, uh, yung tinatawag natin na creativity. Creativity to solve, creativity to design, creativity to uh, think. Ayan. So yan, yun yung mga tinatawag natin na mga, uh, that is creativity as important as literacy. Okay? So proceed po tayo. Okay? So, ang goal po ng session po natin this morning is uh, this online session is intended for a uh, deep teacher. Uh, personal wants to utilize Adobe products and technologies and applying in their own class. Okay? So, bakit po siya, uh, bakit po siya uh, yung, yung Adobe or Ace Level 1 or yung tatawag natin yung Adobe Creative Cloud ay uh, sinishare or binahagi natin sa ating mga guro. That's in order to empower us or to empower our teachers, not only in Region 5, but all the teachers around the Philippines, okay, sa magkaroon po ng uh, yung tinatawag natin Adobe Creative Cloud License para po uh, ma-apply po sa ating mga uh, sariling klase, okay, so sa classes po natin, okay. So once we empower ourselves to, to um, we embrace that particular applications, na kasama doon sa ating subscriptions, we can uh, bridge that one or we can transfer our learning to our students. Ayan. Yan po yung parang uh, uh, core ng online session natin dito is talagang to utilize the Adobe products and technologies in applying our own class. So ito po yung tatawag natin na first stage para po magkaroon po tayo ng ma-enjoy po natin yung mga applications once makuha na po natin yung subscription natin. Okay? So, uh, for the information of everybody, baka po, um, baka po maano kayo ha, baka po ma, uh, kung magkamali kayo sa ano, sa license at saka subscription. So, lilinamin ko lang po, pag nabanggit ko kasi po yung license at saka yung subscription. Kasi po, uh, before, I worked out in, uh, I worked it out in Microsoft for Education. Okay, so this is lang po yung tinatawag natin na a subscription. So once subscription po siya, yun po yung tinatawag na book. Book na a licenses means nakasubscribe po tayo. Pag tinatawag natin na license, yun po yung personal. Like for example, one. 
Okay? So, I buy license for uh, Adobe Photoshop. Yun po yung license. So, one. Pag mag-purchase po kayo ng marami, okay? Hundreds of thousands po ng mga licenses. Yun po yung tinatawag natin subscriptions. Ayan. So, clear. So, ang requirements po natin dito is attend. So, this Adobe for Education Orientation. So, kailangan po natin mag-attend po ng uh, this Adobe Education Orientation. Number two, we are going to pass the Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. And number three, submit requirements to DeepEd PDLMS. So, yun lang po yung uh, requirements po natin. Okay? So, after that one, uh, once masabita po natin yung uh, requirements to the PDLMS, okay, mayroon po tayong tinatawag na additional requirements. Okay? One, additional requirements, internet ready device. So, kailangan po na internet ready device kasi hindi man masyadong madali yun kunin yung yung uh, Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 kasi kailangan po natin ng internet ready device. Yeah. Number two, of course, a deep in email account. So, I know naman na uh, Lahat naman po siguro ng mga guro po natin, ng mga attendees ngayon is mayroon na pong mga deep in email account. Ayan. So sa mga wala pa pong deep in email account, don't forget to um, channel your concern to your school ICT coordinator. Then really, the school ICT coordinator really that concern to the division ITO and to the uh, uh, another concern. So... Parang sa end po ng ITO, masasolve na po yung problem about uh, DPD email account creations. Ayan. Number three is, of course, our internet browser. Ayan. So, sa mga teachers po natin, alam ko na hindi po bago sa inyo yung tinatawag natin na, ito na internet browsers. So, ang dami nating internet browsers na uh, kilala. Okay? So, like for example, Mozilla Firefox and um, we have Google Chrome, we have from Microsoft, we have Microsoft Edge. Okay? So, ang dami pa mga browsers po natin available. Okay? Yan. Next is the Adobe ID. So, magkaroon po tayo ng Adobe ID later. Yan. And of course, we are going to create our Credly account. So, unang-una, uh, sa mga baguhan pa lang po, okay, Itong Credly account is ito po yung magsto-store ng ating mga badges and na makikita po internationally. Ayan. So, yun yung, ito yung Credly account. Next is the PDLMS account. So, yan. Sa ating professional development, uh, learning management system account, I know na um, nakapag-access naman po kayo sa inyong mga PDLMS. Okay. Then, basic design skills. Yan. So, lahat naman po siguro sa atin, mag, mayroon po tinit, tayong tinatawag ng mga basic design skills. Ayan. So, pag tinatawag natin na basic design skills, yung own design nyo po na na-learn, yun po yung tinatawag na, natin na basic design skills. Okay? So, pwede natin yung ma-upgrade, pwede natin yung ma-develop. Okay? Dito, sa ating uh, uh, Adobe uh, creative cloud um, subscription po. Kasi madami tayong mga applications. Another one, uh, additional requirements po natin is creativity skills. Ayan. So, talagang papasok talaga yung creativity skills. ba? Ano po yung sinasabi kanina? Uh, creativity is um, important as literacy. Ayan. So, creativity skills. So, kailangan natin creativity skills. Papasok talaga itong creativity skills. Napaka-importante itong creativity skills. Next is patience and determination. So, hindi basta-basta makukuha po natin yung ACE level 1. So, kailangan po natin ng patience. Ayan. Patience and determination. Okay? Di ba yung, di ba yung, yung tao pag wala pong patience, uh, wala pong determinations, hindi po siya basta-basta po na um, uh, makarating po sa uh, kanya yung mga uh, goal sa life po niya. Okay? So, kailangan po ng patience and determinations. Kasi sa first step pa lang po ng uh, pagkuha po ng ACE level 1 po natin is talagang babasahin natin, panoorin natin yung video, ayan, pakinggan natin yung video. Yan po, patience and determinations po talaga. 
Okay? Yan po yung mga additional requirements. Yan. So, orientation ng Adobe Education Exchange. So, magsasimula na po tayo sa orientations of Adobe Education Exchange. Ayan. So, ano po yung Adobe Education Exchange? Ayan. So, ang Adobe Education Exchange, it is a free. So, pag tinatawag natin na free, wala po siyang bayad. Okay? Free platform that focuses on building teacher skills and helps them to incorporate media into classroom. So, ang platform na ito ay free, okay, for focusing on the teacher skills, okay, and media or any resources and materials po sa uh, loob dito sa Adobe Education Exchange, that's for classroom. So, ang lahat po na makikita natin doon sa ating Edu Adobe Education Exchange ay mga free po siya. Like mga resources, materials, at saka course. Meron tayong tinatawag doon na self-paced course. Pag tinatawag natin na self-paced course, yun po yung mga course na libre. Walang bayad. Okay? Matuto tayo sa ating sarili. That self-paced course. Okay? So, it allows teachers to share and search for classroom resources, engage in discussions with others, and take online courses courses to learn more. Yan. So, kasi free po yung itong platform na to, it allows us teachers to uh, search. So, no limits po na mag-search po tayo na mag-search hanggang magsawa po tayo yung mag-search po na mga lessons and resources po doon sa ating Adobe Education Exchange. Ayan. So, pwede natin gamitin. Okay? Yan. Yan yung mga... At saka pwede tayong mag-take ng online courses dito sa Adobe Education Exchange. Okay? So, of course, ang makikita natin dito, ito po yung tatawag natin na URL. So, ito po yung URL niya. It's TTPS. Uh, colon, double slash, edex.adobe.com. Yan po yung URL natin. It's TTPS. Balikan ko lang. It's TTPS, colon, double slash, edex.adobe.com. Okay? So, yan po. So, pwede po kayong mag-open ngayon ng browser po ninyo. Okay? So, while, while nanood po kayo sa ating sessions, okay? While nanood po kayo sa ating sessions, pwede po kayong... Uh, mag-open po ng browser. Mag-altab lang po kayo. Mag-open po kayo ng browser po ninyo. Okay? Just type it's TTPS colon double slash edX at adobe.com. Ayan po yung URL po natin. Okay? Ayan. So, ito po yung makikita. So, once open na po ang browsers po natin, uh, just type uh, it's TTPS colon double slash adobe dot uh, edX at adobe.com. So, ito po yun. Ito po yung lalabas sa ating uh, browser. So, edex.adobe.com. Ayan. So, yan po yung uh, front page po na lalabas po sa atin. Okay? Sa ating computer. Ayan. So, Adobe Education Exchange, we have teaching resources. So, once we click on the teaching resources tab, okay? Lumabas po dyan yung um, discover free lessons, activities, and projects on your class. So, ang daming mga resources di tayo dito na makukuha. Okay? With uh, specialty and humanities, social sciences, STEM, digital media, and art. Okay? So, ang dami pang iba nandito po siya sa ibaba. You just scroll that one, explore, navigate the homepage. Okay? So, dito sa tab na to, unlist creativity and digital literacy. Okay? Kasi nandito po lahat ng mga resources po natin na uh, gusto natin makukuha. Okay? Or maibahagi or ma-share po natin sa ating class. So, ayan. So, why edX? Bakit po uh, talagang binanggit po natin si edX? Okay? Why Adobe edX? Okay? So, Adobe edX, it connects with fellow educators with similar challenges that you have. Okay? So, hindi lang basta-basta itong edX na to kasi it connects with fellow educators with similar challenges that you have. Okay? So, magkaroon po tayo ng tinatawag natin na collaborations. Okay? 
dito sa tinatawag natin na Adobe Education Exchange. Okay? Napakaganda po siya. Okay? We can share, we can connect, and we can collab with other educators around the world dito po sa ating Adobe Education Exchange. Okay? Yan. So, it prepares our students to have right skills and knowledge. So, once you have uh, full learning on this, we have, uh, you have uh, updated your idea or you embrace that technology on apps in Adobe CC, we can share that one to our students. Okay? That's prepared for them. Uh, we have to prepare for them in their uh, future. Okay? So, it validates their technical abilities and demonstrate proficiency. So, once po na empowered na po yung mga guru po natin, so, once empowered po tayo, okay, we can validate the technical abilities po, okay, on the, on how to use that particular applications ni, ni Adobe. Okay? Nang dahil yan dito sa Adobe Edix po natin. Okay? Ayan. So, ano po yung mga benefits po natin dito? Ano po yung mga benefits natin? So, one. Okay? One na benefits po natin dito is learn. Okay? So, learn is we are going to sharpen your skills or learn something new from free courses, workshops, and live events. Kasi po sa Adobe Education Exchange, marami po siyang ang mga free courses na nandoon. May mga free courses po tayo doon. Okay? May mga workshops din and live events. So once naka-register na po tayo, automatically, magpa-pop up po siya sa ating email address. Sa ating email, I mean, sa ating email, papasok po doon yung mga uh, news about uh, related for Adobe. So, like, mga live events for Adobe, yun po yung learn. So, isa po yung uh, benefits po natin na makukuha dito yung learn. Okay? Number two is teach. So, teach, download free tutorials. So, we can download free tutorials, projects, lessons to teach digital media in your classroom. Okay? Yun. Uh, we can free download the resources, tutorials, or projects and lessons for our classroom. Yan. So, yan po yung teach po. Yan po yung pangalawang benefits na makukuha po natin dito. Na, number three is, yun, itong tinatawag natin na discuss. Okay. So, discuss, get help, share ideas, and leverage the expertise of community in discussion forums. Since, ang Adobe Edix po, sa sinasabi ko na, it connects with other educators around the world. Okay? So, kung mayroon po kayong, di ba, ang idea po natin sa social media, like, uh, yung mga social media platform po natin, di ba? Uh, add, accept tayo. Di ba? Mag-add, accept tayo. Okay? Mag-share po tayo, mag-post po tayo ng, uh, mag-post po tayo ng mga news po natin or yung mga comments po natin. Okay? Di ba? May mag-likes. Di ba? May mag-share. Okay? The same lang po dito sa Adobe Edex. Pero this is education platform. Okay? So, we can connect with other educators. Kasi education uh, platform po siya. We can connect with other educators, exchange ideas. Yung po yung talatawag na ko kanina na collaboration. Okay? And leverage your exper expertise in the community and discussion forums. Kasi magkaroon po ng uh, tinatawag ng discussion forums. Okay? So, who knows na pag mayroon pa kayong resources na i-share po sa ating uh, Adobe Education Exchange Community, gagamitin yan sa internationally. Okay, i-credit mo yan. So, ang daming mga opportunities po na papasok po once we uh, register po dito. Okay? Number four po is yung tinatawag natin na connect. Ayan. So, learn, teach, discuss, and connect. So, ang connect po is collaborate with global community. Yan. Yan yung tinatawag natin na global community. Pag tinatawag natin na global community means global community of educators. Passionate about creativity in education. So, yung learning natin dito, okay, Parang the same yung hangad po ng mga uh, global community of educators about creativity in education. Ayan. So yan po, napakaganda po ang, ang mga benefits po na uh, makukuha po natin dito. Ayan. Okay. So Adobe Creative Educator ACE or ACE. So ito po yung tinatawag natin na, na ACE. So ang ACE Level 1 Badge, yan po. Ang nakikita po natin dito, 
Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. Yan po yung badge na makukuha natin. So, di ba napakaganda po once uh, makukuha po natin yung Level 1 badge? So, magkaroon na po tayo ng uh, sa credential po natin, pwede na natin magamit. Kasi you pass that Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. So, magkaroon na po kayo ng badge. Ayan. So, para saan po yung badge na yan? O para saan po yung X? It is an exclusive community for educators in every subject area. Okay? So, where educators can access a free lessons, professional learning experiences, resource to spark creativity with students, and level certifications with digital badges. So, in addition to the special in-person and online event. So, since ang ACE or Adobe Creative Educator Level 1, ito po yung tinatawag natin na self-paced course. Okay? So, once makukuha po natin ang badge na ito, of course, mag-email din po sila ng certificate po natin na nagpapatunay na pumasa po tayo sa tinatawag natin na Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. Ayan. So, napakaganda po. Okay. So, yan po yung nakita natin kanina na circle. Ayan. So, circle yung first ships natin doon. Circle. Ace. So, Ace Goal. Ano po ba ng goal ng Ace? Or Adobe Creative Educator. So, ang goal natin dito, it helps and acknowledge education professionals on their work as a support group in reaching out the next generation of lifelong creatives. So, alam naman po natin na ang dami natin sa schools. Ang dami natin sa schools, may mga kaibigan po tayo from the remote areas or from the uh, schools na last mile schools na hindi abot po ng ating signal or hindi, wala pa silang chance po na mag-join po ng mga training na ito. So, you, you once empowered na po tayo dito sa ACE goal natin, we can help them or acknowledge our education professionals for their work as support group in reaching out the next generation of lifelong creatives. So, pwede natin silang tulungan para magkaroon po sila ng idea to do this and to do that. Para dumami po yung mga uh, creatives natin sa Department of Education. So, kailangan natin ang mga creatives dito. Okay? So, hindi lang creatives in design, creatives in critical thinking. Okay. Papasok yan. Creatives in problem solving, yan po. Alright. So, ACE Level 1 requirements. Ano po iba yung requirements ng ACE Level 1? Okay. Number one, Complete the self-paced course in Adobe edX. So, I repeat, visit yung URL na binibigay ko kanina. Okay? Yung https double, uh, colon double slash uh, edX.adobe.com. Yun yung visit po ninyo. Tapos, complete the self-paced course in Adobe edX. Yung ACE Level 1 requirements natin. Natawag natin na complete the self-paced course means complete talaga. Okay? Hindi pwedeng from step 1 mag-jump po tayo to step 4 up to step 6. Okay? Pag complete means step 1, step 2, step 3 up to step 11 or step 12 yun. Hanggang makapasa po tayo sa ating assignment. Yan po yung tinatawag natin na complete. So once we are awarded na po tayo sa ating Adobe Badge, Na ACE Level 1, yun po, complete na po tayo sa ating uh, self-paced course na yan. Number 2, uh, create a graphic manifesto. So, ano po yung tinatawag natin ng graphic manifesto? Ang graphic manifesto po natin, yung assignment po natin na gagawin dito sa ating ACE Level 1. So, gagawa po tayo ng uh, graphics, parang parang uh, image, okay? image na may design, okay? na lagyan natin ng text. Yan, yan po yung yung graphic manifesto. Okay, so makikita natin yan later on kung anong ilagay natin. Yan. Tapos, share a graphic manifesto to the global community. So after that one, once we create a graphic manifesto, we can share the graphic manifesto to the global community. Okay? So i-upload po natin ang ating na-create na graphic manifesto sa ating Adobe Education Exchange na a platform. So, once upload po siya, or uploaded na po yung ating graphic manifesto, 
or yung assignment po natin, automatically, it shares in our global community. Yan po yung napakaganda dito. Mas share na po siya ta sa ating global community. So once share na po siya, pwede na pong makikita po sa lahat po ng mga educators around the world. Ayan. Alright. So ACE Level 1 Benefits. Ano po ba yung mga benefits ng ACE Level 1? Number 1 is classroom resources. Okay? So, yan. Makakuha po tayo ng mga classroom resources. Uh, live events. Of course, may enjoy po natin yung mga live events na i-announce po nila. Number 3, Global Community. Yan. Number 4, SWAG. And of course, while we level up our, while we level up our learning here in Adobe Education Exchange, Pwede tayong papadalhan po ng swag po nila yung mga merch, like t-shirts, like mug, like stickers, ganun, yun yung mga swag. And get featured. So, once maganda po yung mga output po natin, pwede, itong mag, pwede tayong ma-featured ma for their news or magazines in, in Adobe. Ayan. So, get featured. Yan po yung makukuha po natin. Okay. So, nakita natin yun, ito yung tinatawag natin na Adobe Creative Educator Program. Ayan. So, dito sa kaliwa, ito yung mga requirements sa Adobe Educator Program. At dito sa right naman po, is yung tinatawag natin na benefits. Okay. So, number one, is one hour course lang po siya. Ang Adobe Creative Educator natin na program, is pwede natin matake po siya in one hour course. So, review creative process. Okay. So, sa resources po siya. Number two, uh, create a graphic. Yan. So, show you will, uh, how you will cultivate creativity in creativity. That's, that's a, a create a graphic manifesto. Number three is share your graphic. Okay? Yan yung mga requirements po natin. Share your graphic. So, number one, course. Self-paced course. Number two, create a graphic manifesto. Number three, share your graphic globally. Okay? So, ang benefits po natin na makukuha dito is resources, events, community, Recognition and, of course, the swag. Ayan. Yan po yung makukuha natin dito. Alright. So, different ACE labels. So, may, may different ACE labels pa po pala. Okay? So, not only the ACE level one, but may, may different ACE labels po. So, 3 hours PD, yung professional development, uh, one assignment, graphic manifesto, okay, and our Adobe Creative Educator Level 2. So, hindi lang po pala tayo sa Level 1 lang. But, mayroon pa po tayong Level 2. So, pwede tayong mag-update uh, or we can take another course in Adobe Creative Educator Level 2. Okay? So, 6 hours PD. 2 assignment. Okay? Instructional plan and 1 minute video. Okay? Yan po yung pangalawa, ACE level 2. And aside from that, pwede tayong maging tinatawag natin na AEL. Okay? So, ang tinatawag natin na Adobe Education Leader, ito po ay by nomination. Okay? Iinominate po tayo sa uh, to become Adobe Education Leader. Okay? So, by nomination. So, application and screening from Adobe edX. Okay? So, mayroong application and screening from Adobe Edex at saka by nomination. Okay? So, once mayroon na tayo dito, itong tatlo na to, okay? Ito po yung tratawag mo na um, you have these three badges. Ace Level 1, Ace Level 2, and Adobe Education Leader. Ganun. So, once Adobe Education Leader na po tayo, means no na po tayo sa, um, sa Philippines or no na po tayo sa world, in sharing some of the resources in our global community. Okay? So, yan po yung sinasabi ko kanina na um, yan po yung sinasabi ko kanina na we develop. Okay? So, so ma-develop na tayo. Ang daming papasok na mga opportunity. So, ang daming mag-invite na sa inyo to speak, okay? To to share, to mentor or coach on how to get this Adobe, Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 and Level 2. Okay? So, ito po yung mga different ACE levels na makukuha po natin. Alright. So, Adobe Creative Educator Stats in the Philippines. So, ito po yung mga status natin sa ating Adobe Education Creative Educator. Before, ang liit lang po ng number of Adobe Creative Educator sa Philippines. 
Okay? So, nag-start po ito last year, 2021, na dumami na po tayo. Ang dami na pong na-engage. Okay? So, ang makikita natin dito, ha, disclaimer lang po, ang makikita natin dito is hindi ito updated. Okay? Uh, Nag-increase po tayo ngayon. Okay? So, ang Adobe Creative Educator natin level 1 ngayon is, uh, dito sa ating screen na makikita is 4,503. Okay. So, ang sign up last dyan is more pa. So, I think kayo nasa 6,000 na siguro yung uh, ACE level 1 natin. Okay. So, ito po yung as of October 26, 2021 pa po siya. Ayan. So, next is Adobe Creative Educator level 2. So, mayroon tayong 224 ACE level 2 na... Uh, nakapag-complete po ng ACE level 2 natin. So, 224 plus, uh, plus means more as of October 23, 2021. Okay? So, ngayon, I think nasa, ano na, nasa 600 uh, yata yung uh, Adobe uh, Creative Educator level 2 natin. Alright. Yan, yan po yung stats natin. Okay? So, ito po yung Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 Self-Paced Course So Ang nakikita po ninyo sa browser ng ADEX or Adobe Education Exchange Pag makikita po kayo ng ganito itong picture na to at saka may logo na ACE Level 1 Yan po yung uh, Self-Paced Course na iti-take po natin Okay? So ito po may, Nakalagay po dyan na Creativity Full for All Self-paced course. So, pag tinatawag natin na self-paced course, yan po, matututo po tayo sa sarili pong sikap po natin. Okay? Self-paced course po siya. Okay? Ang self-paced course na to is 3 hours. So, ang maximum po na hours po dito is 3 hours po yung maximum na uh, study po natin. Okay? So, ang nakakuha na po ng course na ito is we have 35,792 po ang mga nakapag-complete ng course na ito around the world. Ayan. Ayan po. And then, uh, sa nakikita po natin is creativity for all list. So, once we click on that course, na-click na po natin yung course na yun, uh, automatically, we will be redirected into this list. Okay? So, ito po yung list of topics. So, creativity for all list of topics. Ayan. So, ang list of topics natin dito is number one. Ito yung tinatawag natin na intro and overview. So, kailangan nating basahin, kailangan nating panuorin yung video dito para maintindihan po natin kung ano po ang laman ng kabuang creativity all courses. Okay? dito sa intro and overview of this creativity for all. Number two is we have or how does creativity relate to other skills? So, paano po ba yung creativity natin relate to the other skills in our classroom? So, kailangan nating basahin, kailangan nating panoorin yung video para maintindihan po natin kung ano po yung mga creativity na uh, magagamit natin sa ating classrooms. So, yun po. Yun, yun po yung uh, basic natin na gagawin natin dito. Basahin, panoorin yung video. Okay? Basahin, panoorin yung video. Okay? At saka mag-study po tayo, i-analyze po natin kung ano natin gawin. So, basahin ko lang po yung list. Number three, how to develop student creativity. So, nandito na po siya sa loob ng ating creativity for all. Number four, Creative tools. Ayan. Number five, how to foster creative learning culture. Kasi global community po siya. Number six, every subject is creative. Number seven, how can you access creativity? Number eight, Adobe creative tools. Number nine, what's next? Adobe teaching resources and the education exchange. So, ano po ba yung mga next po natin na self-paced course po dito? Number 10, what's next for Adobe Programs and Creative Educators? And number 11 is Creative Educator Assignment Overview. So, ito po yung napaka-importante na list 
kasama po dito sa ating Creativity for All is Creative Educator Assignment Overview. Kasi po, i-discuss po dito kung paano po gagawin po yung or assignment po natin. So, Creativity Educator Assignment Overview. Okay? Ano po ba yung mga steps po na gagawin po natin? And next is the assignment. So, after that one, once we click on the assignment, means assignment ready na po siya, once we submit our assignment, ang last po dyan is ito yung tinatawag natin na peer review. So, once peer review, pag naka peer review na po tayo, once may visit na po sa ating assignments, may view na po, okay? Yun. Ito po yung chance po na malaki pong chance na for approval for ACE Level 1 po natin. Once uh, dadaan na po tayo sa peer, peer review. Okay? Yan po yung mga list po natin. So, all in all, uh, 11 lang po yung list of topics po natin. So, takes to 3 hours po uh, to take these particular courses. Ano? Particular course. Including the assignment. Ayan. So, madali lang po. Yun. So, tapos na po tayo. So, creativity for all. So, if you want to receive an Adobe Creative Educator Bads, you can apply that you have what you have learned to create an original graphic in Adobe Spark Post. So, mag-create po tayo ng uh, original graphic in Adobe Spark Post. Kahit a very simple graphic manifesto lang po yung create po natin. Okay? Which responds to one of these prompts. So, how will you support your students' creativity? creativity. So, yan. Yan po yung gagawin po natin sa ating uh, assignment. Uh, mag gumawa po tayo ng original graphic in Adobe Spark Post. Okay? Or to answer uh, this particular question, how will you support your students' creativity? So, how will you support your students' creativity? Ang sagot mo dyan, ilagay mo doon sa uh, gagawin mong graphic uh, manifesto. Or, what is your goal as creative educator? Yan. So, kailangan mong sagutan ito. Uh, question na to. What is your goal as uh, what is your goal as a creative educator? So, ang sagot mo dito, ilagay mo dyan sa original graphic manifesto. So, kahit a basic design lang, okay, kahit a basic design. Then, to complete this optional assignment and receive your status as a creative educator, uh, please complete the following assignment using a choice of Adobe Spark. Okay? So, pag alam po natin paano gamitin yung Adobe Spark, pwede natin gawin. Pag hindi mo alam yung Spark, you can use Photoshop. Okay? Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. Ayan. Create an original graphic which responds to either the prompts above. So, yung mga questions. How will you support your students' creativity? Yan po yung ilagay po sa ating graphics manifesto. Okay? What is your goal as creative educator? So, pumili lang po kayo ng isa dito. Okay? Isang questions. So, kahit isang question lang po yung pipiliin natin dito at sagutan natin at ilagay natin sa ating uh, graphic manifesto. Okay? So, yun. Uh, yun po. After that one, uh, please submit your work as either shareable Spark link or you can paste your uh, Spark in the reflection section below and download the image as exported file Spark Photoshop or Illustrator. So, papakita natin later kung paano po siya gawin. Ayan. So, after that one, main goal. So, ano po yung main goal natin dito? Ang main goal natin is to get Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. After that one, Adobe Creative Cloud CC License. So, why? So, may goal na tayo to get the Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. After that one, malapit na po tayo makuha, malapit na po natin makuha yung Adobe Creative Cloud License or CC License. So, yan po yung zero shapes. Okay? So, Adobe ID Creation. So, ito po yung slide na to. Ito po yung tatawag natin na demo and creation of our Adobe ID Creation. Yan. So, open your browser and type HTTPS 
colon double slash account dot adobe dot com yan ito po yung adobe id creation na https colon double slash ado account dot adobe dot com after that one click sign in okay click sign in new user or create an account ayan so yun po yung makikita natin yan po kung paano po mag Paano po gumawa ng Adobe ID creation? Alright. Next demo natin, Adobe Edix account creation. Yung Adobe Education Exchange. Open your browser and type it's tps colon double slash edix.adobe.com then click sign in new user create an account. Ayan. Yan po yung sa edX. Alright. So, yan. Demo Adobe ID creation. So, in creating account, of course, in creating our account, as new user, don't forget to use our email address. So, dip in email. So, yung dip in email natin ang gagamitin natin. Of course, we put our first name, last name, and password. Okay? Date of birth, country or region kasi kailangan po ito and then tick the box please contact me via email so yun check po natin yung box please contact me via email kasi po doon po yun papasok yung mga invitation nila for live events then click create account so after clicking create account yun magkaroon na po kayo ng account so be aware on this in, in creating this one kasi Parang napaka-strict po nila in terms of password. So, may restriction po sila sa password. Kailangan natin ng password na alphanumeric characters with symbols. Yan. Alphanumeric characters, numbers, and symbols. So, napaka-strict po ang, ang pag-create uh, ng account dito sa ating Adobe Education. Okay? So, sa mga hindi po nakahabol sa ating sessions, pwede naman po natin balikan yung video natin kasi recorded naman po ang session natin dito. 24-7 siguro, I think. Yeah. Okay, so demo ID creation. So, click my profile. Edit profile. So, what? after ha, naka, nakapag-create na po tayo. So, click nyo yung profile ninyo. Edit profile. Okay, Adobe Education Exchange. Professional Learning. And then, access the self-paced course. Ito pa yung mga uh, makikita natin. Then, Creativity for all ACE Level 1 course. Okay, yun po i-click natin. Then, click the about the course. Okay, then click the instructors. After that one, yun. Creativity for all self-paced course. So, lalabas na po siya. Ayan. Then again, ito po yung mga list of topics for creativity for all. Alright. So, malapit na po tayo. Ma nasa ano na tayo? Nasa um, mayroon na tayong 20 uh, slides sa ating demo. So, creativity for all assignment. Balikan ko lang. Then, peer review. So, how will you support your students' creativity and what is your goal as creative educator? Yan po. Uh, binalik natin. Then, of course, peer review. So, ang mga key points natin dito for Adobe Educate Creative Educator Level 1. So, define creativity, develop student creativity, foster creative learning culture, and relate, relate creative in every subject. So, ang makikita natin dito, ito po yung mga key points natin dito na talagang magkaroon po tayo ng focus kasi we can use this one in our classroom. So, ang, makik ang nakikita natin dito sa ating key points, nandoon po ito sa ating list of topics. So, mga key points natin sa ating list of topics sa ACE Level 1. Define creativity, develop student creativity, relate creativity in every subject, and foster creative learning culture. Okay? Yan po. And of course, the last one is access Adobe tools for creativity. So, yan na po yung paano po natin uh, gamitin po yung yung graphic manifesto, it's either we can use the Adobe Spark Post 
or Photoshop and Illustrator ang gagamitin po natin. Sa ating Ace Level 1. Okay? So, Adobe Spark. So, makikita natin, ito po yung Adobe Spark icon natin. Itong yung logo. Pag makikita po kayo ng ESP na parang brown, then read yung text na ESP, yan po yung Adobe Spark. Isa po yan na kasama po sa ating Adobe Creative Cloud application subscription. Adobe Spark. It enables you to create design, web page, web pages, and video faster without being too technical doing complicated process. So dito po, once you practice using this part, pwede po kayong mag-create mo ng design dito, uh, web page, and of course, video faster without being too technical. Even even without an, too much idea on technicalities on videos. Okay? in complicated process, but dito sa Spark, madali lang po natin matutunan. Okay? Yan. So, demo with Spark. Yan. Open your browser. Type. Yan. Pwede nyo i-try. Open your browser and type https colon double slash spark dot adobe dot com. So, you can try that one. Or log in using your Adobe ID. Yan. So, once nakakreta po kayo ng Adobe ID. So, demo sparks. Next, choose templates. Uh, click educator, uh, teacher appreciation checklist, and click the create from this template. Yan po yung click po natin. Okay. So, papasadaan lang po natin. Uh, edit template. Save your graphic manifesto as PNG file. Ayan. You can save your graphic manifesto as your as PNG file. Then, you can download your file. Ayan. After that one, congratulations. Yan po. Nag-congratulate na po si Adobe Edix sa atin. So, Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. So, you are now a few steps closer to become Ace Level 1. Okay. So, moving forward, Adobe Edix will send you a congratulatory email since Naka-register naman po tayo sa ating Adobe Edex. Mag-send po sila ng congratulatory email po sa ating uh, DPD email, yung ginagamit natin kanina. Upon completion and approval of our creativity for all. So, yan. Download your certificate. Then, Credly will send you the accreditation badge of ACE Level 1. Doon po sa Credly natin. Ayan. So, finish na tayo sa ating Ace Level 1 in Adobe Education Exchange. So ngayon, proceed na po tayo sa Credly. What is Credly? Credly is the end-to-end -end solution for creating, issuing, and managing digital credentials like badges. So ito yung plat itong platform na to, ito po yung uh, tinatawag natin end-to-end -end solutions for uh, creating and issuing digital credentials like badges. So, sa lahat po ng mga credentials ninyo, like Google Educator Level 1, Google Educator Level 2, uh, Microsoft uh, Certified Educator, like Microsoft Office Specialist, papasok po siya sa Credly po natin. So, yun. Uh, sila po yung mag-manage po ng ating digital credentials. Okay? So, once may may gustong mag-browse or may gustong tumingin sa ating mga credentials, you can share your credit link okay, to uh, the, the person na uh, humingi po. Yan. So, yan po yung credly. So, credly logo. Okay? So, tapos na tayo sa circle. Ngayon, dito naman tayo sa triangle, itong tinatawag natin na credly. Yan. So, number one, circle is ace. Orientation about ace. Number two is Credly, itong triangle. So, ano yung panghuli natin? Yung square. O, yan. So, malapit na tayo dumating sa square na shapes. Okay? So, demo, demo account in creating our Credly. Open your browser and type https colon double slash info.credly.com So, yan po yung URL po natin. Type po natin sa ating browser. After that one, sign in using your Deep in email account. Yan. So, clear. Next. So, ano po yung mga needed artifacts po dito? Yan. Ito po yung 
uh, mga needed artifacts po natin, screenshot of the following. Yan. Ito po yung kailangan natin. Screenshots of the following. Adobe Edex Profile with Badge. Yan. Adobe Edex Profile with Badge. Yan po yung screenshot po natin. Next, kung congrat congratulatory message from Adobe. So doon po sa ating email, screenshot po natin yan. Number three is badge from Credly. Okay, so ulitin ko. Number one, ang screenshot po natin, number one, Adobe Edix profile with badge. Yan po, kailangan natin ang screenshot na yan. Doon sa account natin sa Adobe Edix, na may badge na po tayo. Next is congratulatory message from Adobe. Doon po sa ating email. Check po natin yan at screenshot. Number three is badge from credly.com. Open natin yung credly natin. Nandoon po yung badge po natin, screenshot natin siya. So tatlo, yung needed artifacts po natin. So ano po yung mga kailangan na links? Needed links. Links or URL of the following. Adobe Edix profile. So kunin natin ang URL or ang link po ng ating Edix profile. So doon sa ating Adobe Education Exchange na account. So kunin natin yan. Copy natin yan. At saka yung links po ng ating Credly profile. So yung URL po ng profile po natin sa Credly. So yan po yung mga needed links po to get the Adobe Creative Cloud license. Alright. So ngayon, proceed na naman tayo sa last one. Itong square. Or yung tatawag natin na PDLMS. Itong square na ship PDLM is yan. Professional Development Learning Management System natin. Of course, in the Department of Education, Professional Development, LMS, uh, Management System is a training system for teaching and non-teaching personnel in the Department of Education. So, of course, we will be uh, typing this uh, URL, it's tps colon double slash training.dp.gov.ph Ayan. Yan po yung uh, kumbaga direct URL po sa ating uh, PDLMS. Ayan. So dito, demo in the PDLMS, log in your credentials, deep in email, click the site home in the upper left corner of your um, LMS. So once nakalag in na po kayo, so site home. After that one, on course categories, click the Adobe Courses. Ayan. So, click the Adobe Courses. After that one, click the Adobe for Education. Okay? So, once you click on Adobe Courses, you can click on Adobe for Education. So, after that one, click Access. Yun. Papasok na po kayo doon sa Adobe na Education Courses natin. So, proceed to Activities. Answer the 10 item exit quiz. After that one, fill out the form one, Adobe Creator Education Educator Level 1 application. So, kailangan nyo i-fill out yan. After that, proceed to the final exit activity. Okay? Yan. Yung final exit activity. Step 1, attach. So, ito po yung final uh, exit activity. Ha? Step 1, attach a screenshot of the email from Adobe. Yun, yung yung binanggit ko kanina na screenshot. So, attach a screenshot of the email from Adobe. This serves as proof that you have successfully passed the Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 certification. Number two, for badge verification, type in or copy and paste your Credly profile link into the text box provided. So, may box po tayo doon. Doon po ninyo i-paste po yung uh, Credly link. And... Step 3, download your Certificate of Course Completion. So after that one, mag-award po ng Certificate of Course Completion po yung PDLMS po natin. And step 4, wait your Adobe CC license sent via deep in email. So once ma-receive na po namin yung mga sinasubmit po ninyo na screenshots at saka output with links, wait your Adobe CC license sent via deep in email. Ayan. So ngayon, Circle is ACE Level 1 Orientation. Triangle is creating the Credly account. And Square is itong tatawag natin na uh, 
professional development, learning management system, kailangan natin dalhin doon ang lahat po ng uh, needed artifacts po natin. So, ano po ba yung mga needed artifacts po natin? Screenshots, links ng uh, readly po natin. Okay, at saka sagutan po yung application form natin to get this logo. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na Adobe Creative Cloud License. Ayan. Okay. So, Adobe Creative Cloud License, ito po yung ma-enjoy po natin. So, Creative Cloud, Photoshop, Illustrator, ito po yung mga applications na kasama po sa subscription po natin. Adobe Acrobat, ayan, InDesign, Adobe XD or Design Prototype, Share User Experience, we have Lightroom, Premiere Pro, Premiere Rush, Fresco, okay, After Effects, Adobe Bridge, we have Lightroom Classic, we have Photoshop Express for mobile phones, Dimension, we have Dreamweaver, Animate, Adobe Character Animator, Audition, Media Encoder, InCopy, and so on and so forth, dito po sa ating Adobe CC subscriptions. So again, congratulations, Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. You are now uh, one step closer to become Adobe Creative Educator Level 1. Ayan. So, thank you so much. So, that's the end po, po, po ng ating session po this morning about ACE Level 1. So, thank you so much po. Good morning po. Thank you, MCs. Thank you po sa ating Region 5 uh, Bicol Divisions po. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for Thank you, sir, uh, Glenn Hurano from our uh, from ETU and Tech Unit for the very comprehensive discussion on ACE1 certification. For for any questions, you may actually access the Google slide when you can post your questions. Please just access uh, using your demo email, and our will actually address them. If there are some gray areas which you think needs to be addressed, do not hesitate to post your questions in the link given on screen. So while we are waiting for questions to be posted, let me remind the participants that attendance can be accessed later through our regional LMS or regional learning management system. And session evaluation will also serve as your test assessment. Likewise, our distribution will be on the same day or on Friday until 5 p.m. through regional LMS. Strictly no outcomes, no certificate of participation. You will only receive a certificate of attendance. So I think we have a question, sir. Ayan, so okay, our first question is hello po, sir. Pag may level one na po, sir, gagawa pa po ba ulit ng mga output sa level one? Thanks in advance. Ayan. Uh, so thank you so much for these questions po. So I think um ang owner po ng question na to is level one na po siya. So nakapag-take na po siya ng ACE level one. Means pasado or completed na po niya ang self course po natin sa ating edX. So, kaya nga po, uh, natanong niya po itong question na to. So, pag may level 1 na po, sir, gagawa pa po ba ulit ng mga output sa level 1? Of course, isang basis lang po tayo mag-take po ng ating self-paced course na level 1. So, pag nakagawa na po kayo ng uh, output sa ACE level 1, so, pag may level 1 na po kayo, uh, visit nyo lang po yung uh, account po ninyo sa ADEX, sa Adobe Education Exchange, mag-login po kayo doon. At saka, screenshot mo yung uh, profile mo with badge, Adobe Level 1 badge. At saka, click mo yung self course mo doon. At saka, i-download mo yung graphic manifesto mo. Screenshot mo yan. And of course, next is, i-visit mo yung email mo. Okay? Visit mo yung email. 
na ginamit mo doon sa edX doon po ini-email nila yung congratulatory email with certificate doon sa Adobe edX so hanapin mo doon yung email ng uh, Adobe edX na may congratulatory email screenshot mo yun okay so after that one yun na po yung mga uh, needed natin sa screenshots so after that yun mag-login ka sa PDLMS okay doon isasubmit mo yung mga output ng screenshots at saka gagawa po kayo ng link sa gagawa po kayo ng Creedly account so kung ano po yung email na ginagamit mo doon sa uh, edX po dip, halimbawa dip email mo yung ginagamit mo sa edX pag gumawa po kayo ng account sa Creedly yun po yung email na gagamitin mo para po ma-merge po or ma-transfer po yung badge mo sa Creedly so ang gagawin mo lang dito is kunin mo yung link sa Creedly So yung URL mo sa Cribly, after that one, kunin mo rin yung uh, URL mo sa edX. So yun po yung uh, dadalhin natin sa PDLMS for submission. Okay? So yun po. So we, uh, we are enlightened with an uh, uh, The teacher is satisfied with the answer. Next question. Minimal specs of computer can be used for the certification. Thank you. Ayan, so thank you for the questions, uh, Sir Errol J. Loreca. Of course, um, minimal specs of computer, regardless of specifications po tayo dito uh, sa computer systems, pwede po tayo mag-take po ng uh, uh, certification na to. This is quite free for po sa ating Adobe Education. Basta one thing lang po, yung requirements natin na nabanggit ko kanina is, of course, mayroon po tayong stable internet connections. At of course, kailangan po ang patience natin at saka yung determination to finish this course. Yun po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To have a certification, of course. <laughs> Next question. May time frame po ba para sa submission ng requirement? As mentioned earlier on, the output submission will be on Friday at 5 p.m. And strictly no output, no certificate of participation. Here's another question. Uh, good morning po, sir. Can you give us the presentation on the actual game or registering the AC, AC level 1? Thank you. Ayan. So thank you so much for these questions po. Ayan. So mag-share po tayo ng screen. Uh, Ma'am and sir, uh, permit me to share my screen po for uh, request uh, demo uh, for logging in the ACE level 1. So share po tayo ng screen. Ayan. Okay. Ayan, so ito po yung browser po natin. Ayan, so trade new po tayo. So ano po yung URL po natin na nabanggit ko kanina? It's TTPS, it's TTPS, colon slash, uh, edex.adobe.com. Ayan po. So after typing ay edex.adobe.com, enter natin yan. Okay. Yun. Ito po yung uh, lalabas sa ating uh, edex.adobe.com. Ito po yung yung uh, ating uh, browser na lumabas sa front page ni edex. After that one, click natin ang sign up. Okay? Or click natin sign in. Ayan. Okay. So, after click to sign in, new user, create an account. So, pwede rin continue to Google, then um, using your deep in email address. Okay? So, if you can click on create an account, yan, type po natin dito yung deep in email address. After that one, first name, yan, last name, lagay natin password. So, lagay natin ang password dito date of birth natin, year. Okay? 
after that one create click create an account okay simple lang so balikan ko lang type natin yung https colon double slash edx.adobe.com yan so bubungad sa atin ang uh, edx platform or website nila so click natin ang sign in so after clicking sign in click create an account then type your email address of course i said while ago you can put your deep in email address on the box then supply the needed data on the box then tick box check please contact me via email after that one click create an account ayan so okay na po tayo sa creating an account. So, once successful na po ang pag-create po natin account, mag-sign in po tayo. Okay. So, sa akin dito is email address, deep in email. So, continue. Yan. So, password. Yan. Log in. So, skip ko lang po. Yan. So, ang nakita natin ngayon, ito po yung account natin ni eh. Uh, ito po yung account natin ni eh, Edix Adobe Education Exchange. So click natin ang profile. Click natin ang my profile. Yan. So after clicking my profile, uh, maglo-load po siya. Ito po yung sa area na to dito po natin screenshot. Mag-screenshot po tayo sa ating profile. So, so nakita niyo may badge dito. Adobe Creative Educator badge. Yan po ang screenshot. Yan po yung required screenshots. Okay? Na kukunin natin. So mag-screenshot tayo dito. Save natin sa computer natin. After that one, kahit full screenshot mo yan, pwede yan. After that one, uh, click mo yung itong URL na to. Yan. Ito, ito. Member. Ito po yung needed links na kailangan natin. Itong link na to. Okay? Kasi ito po yung profile natin. Yan. So, copy natin ang link na yan. Paste natin sa uh, Word document natin. Yan po yung needed na uh, link sa profile natin. Kasi uh, sa lahat po ng mga educator sa ating global community, magkaiba po tayo yung tinatawag natin na unique uh, verification ID sa ating profile. So, sa lahat po ng uh, mga global educators natin, dito tayo nag- Uh, deeper po sa ating verifications dito sa area na to. So, kagaya ng mga social media platform natin. So, may mga sarili, sarili tayong profile. Ayan. So, yan po yung screenshot po natin. So, click natin yung profile. So, pag click po natin yung My Education Exchange, yan. Dito po yung mga tinatawag natin na mga uh, courses na na-take po natin. At saka makikita natin dito yung mga points natin, total points. So, teaching resources. Wala pa po akong na-create na teaching resources. Professional learning. Yan. Pag tinatawag natin na PD, ito. Dito sa professional learning community. Dito yan. So, in progress. Adobe Creative Cloud Express in Classroom. In progress. Teaching online masterclass. Self-paced. In progress yan. Yan, in progress. Mga level to po yan. Okay? So, dito sa professional learning, ito po yung tinatawag na creativity for all na na-take ko na course. So, click mo yung Creativity for All. Okay? So, yan po yung i-click po natin sa course ng ACE Level 1. Okay? So, after clicking the Creativity for All, ito po yung lalabas. Okay? Um, 3.0 of 3 hours complete 100%. So, ito po yung number 1. Ito po yung list of topics natin. Number 1, making the case for Creativity So, pag-click na po natin yung uh, number one, ito po yung lalabas. So, making the case for creativity. So, kailangan nating basahin ito uh, from Adobe Edex. After that one, kailangan nating panoorin itong video na to. So, making the case for uh, creativity, for creativity for all. Yan. So, kailangan natin yan. So, what is in the course? Remix, create. Yan. Basahin natin, panoorin natin yung video. After that one, pag natapos natin uh, mapanood, ma-play yung video, 
automatic may progress dito na notification bar sa ibaba. Okay? Pag ang nakalagay po dito is 100% complete, click po natin yung next. Okay? So pag click po natin yung next, after clicking the next, automatically we will be uh, transferring to the other list of topics. Number two, how does creativity relates to the other skills? Yan. Basahin natin yan. Panoorin natin ang video. And of course, lahat ng mga insights po na sinishare po dito sa area na to, yan po yung uh, tatandaan po natin at saka uh, panoorin natin. Yan. So after that one, pag 100% na po, click lang po natin yung next. Hanggang abo tayo dito sa number 11. List of topics. So sa number 11, you are now at the end of the course. So ito na po sa last one. So thank you for joining us and we hope to see you again in additional courses or our wider online community. So once you've received your Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 badge, be sure to enroll in one of the following courses to continue your ACE journey. So ito po yung tatawag natin na ACE journey. So you only need to complete one of these courses to achieve Adobe Creative Educator Level 2 status. So choose whichever is most relevant to you in teaching. So design your creative class and design your creative course for ACE Level 2. So pag kumpleto na po yan, proceed po tayo sa assignment natin. So ito na po yun. So sa assignment po natin, yan, dito. Using either Adobe Creative Cloud Express, Adobe Photoshop, or Adobe Illustrator, create an original graphic manifesto that responds to one of the following prompts. So how will you support your students' creativity? What is your goal as creative educator? So basahin nyo lang po dito lahat. Okay? At saka gagawa po kayo ng graphic manifesto. Yan. Ito po yung kumbaga graphic manifesto ko. Yan. I use creativity in teaching, learning by encouraging the learners to be creative with their work, foster creative thinking, and be compassionate. Yan. Yan po yung ginawa ko. Okay? After that one, dadaan po yan sa peer review. So, pagdating yan sa peer review, yun. For approval na po yung ACE Level 1 course po natin. So, after that one, tapos na po ang ating course. Okay? So, we can download the certificate at saka mag-email din sila ng certificate po sa atin. Ayan. So, ito po yung makukuha natin. At saka sa batch. Okay? So, tapos na tayo sa Adobe Education Exchange. So, proceed tayo sa Credly. So, gagawa tayo ng account sa Credly. Ayan. So, ano po yung URL ng Credly? HTTPS colon double slash uh, credly.com So type natin credly.com After that one Enter natin siya Okay So we will be redirected on the Credly platforms so, Yan po So yan po yung Credly uh, website Ayan So click natin sign in Ayan So pag wala pa po kayong account Of course I said wala go create an account Okay So in creating account Don't forget to uh, put your name, last name, email address, of course, yung deep in email na ginagamit po ninyo sa yung edX, and of course, the territory region po ninyo, Philippines, and of course, the password. Yan. At saka, tick box po, agree po natin yung terms and services po nila dito, and of course, send me occasional news, updates on professional growth communities. Yan. After that one, click po natin yung create an account. So, once we have an account na po in Credly, kailangan na po natin mag-sign in sa Credly. Ayan. So sa akin, ang ginagamit ko sa Credly is Yahoo. Yan. Yahoo ang email na ginagamit ko. Here, try it. So subukan natin mag-login. Ayan. So ito po yung Credly account ko. Ito po yung mga badges natin. Okay? Ayan. So mayroon akong Microsoft Certified Trainer for 2022-2023. MCT siya, global recognition po yan. Um, uh, parang sa Department of Education, parang uh, dalawa. Dalawa lang po kami dito sa Philippines. So, MCT, 
2021-2022. Then Microsoft uh, Office Specialist for Word, Excel Associates. Then Level 1, hindi ko pa nasing itong Level 2. Then Introduction to Cybersecurity from Cisco, certified po tayo niyan. And Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert for 2021-2022. Hindi pa po updated ang ibang dashboard. So after dito, pag may profile na po tayo dito sa ating Credly, click natin ang profile natin. At saka click natin ang view profile. So after clicking the view profile, yan, copy natin ang link na to. Ito po yung Credly link natin. So i-copy natin yan. At saka kasama doon sa edX natin, Diyan po yung ipipaste natin sa box doon sa ating PDLMS. Yan. Okay? Pwede natin... Pwede po kayong mag-send ng transcript kung may hihingi pa ng transcript. So, yan po yung sacredly natin. So, after that one, yun. Mag-login na po kayo sa inyong PDLMS. Yun po yung panghuli. Ayan. So, yun po yung panghuli. So, thank you so much po. As, sir, gumawa po ako ng account sa EDEX Kaso lumabas po na mayroon na daw po akong account Paano po yun mapalitan or ma-edit? So, yung account po sa EDEX um, Pwede yung hanapin po yung account po ninyo sa EDEX Kung ano po yung email address na ginagamit po ninyo to register Okay? At saka yun po yung uh, ikiklik po ninyo Okay? Or yun po yung kumbaga, email address na gagamitin po ninyo to to register po sa sa edX. So pag uh, nakalimutan niyo po yung password, just uh, just uh, click your forget password para magkaroon po kayo ng uh, panibagong uh, mabigyan po kayo ng panibagong chance po na mapalitan po yung password po ninyo sa edX. Okay kasi isang business lang po talaga tayo pwedeng gumawa po ng uh, edX account po natin sa isang email address. Okay? So, pwede naman po kayong gumawa ng another account sa edX using uh, different email address. Okay? Pag isa email address po, yun na po talaga ang lumabas. So, may access na po ako sa Adobe Cloud using school email. Kaso di ko po ma-install ang mga Adobe apps. Uh, paano po yun? So, dami po nating uh, dami po nating consider doon sa uh, installation of Adobe applications. Uh, papasok na po rin yung system requirements po ng ating laptop especially uh, pag tinatawag natin ng, na Adobe Creative Cloud means updated po yung uh, subscription po natin from the latest po yung yung apps na i-download po natin so karamihan po sa iba po na uh, na-encounter namin dito uh, pag may lower version po ng uh, mga specs po ng computer po natin hindi siya mag-install ng mga advanced po na app sa ating Adobe Creative Clouds. Yun po yung uh, almost po na uh, mga na-experience namin. So may mga apps din na mag-install sa lower version ng mga uh, ating mga computer or laptop. Pero uh, almost lahat po, basta lower version hindi mag-install ng ating Adobe CC ng mga applications. Yun po. Pero lifetime naman po yung license, uh, ano, uh, yearly naman po yung license po natin. Ayan. So, pag mag may update po. So, no more. Thank you so much, Sir Glenn, for a very comprehensive discussion as well as the demonstration in how to uh, create account and how to access the elements. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much for Richard Five. I agree in, uh, with the saying that education consists mainly of what we have to do. And to award the certificate of recognition to our speaker. Okay, okay. At this juncture, with your friends, let us have the awarding of our certificate of recognition to our resource speaker. Allow me to read the citation. Republic of the Philippines Department of Education, Region 5, Bicol. Certificate of recognition is awarded to 
Glenn L. Buranio, MCP, MOS, in grateful appreciation of his meritorious role as leader speaker during the regional training and orientation on Adobe Adobe Creative Educator Level 1 and 2, conducted by the regional OER coordinators and hosted by the SDO Erika City, held by Facebook Live on March 9 to 11, 2022, pursuant to Regional Memorandum Number 12, Series of 2022, given this 11th day of March 2022, at Deped Region 5 Office, Rawis and Gatsby City, Philippines, signed Gilbert E. Sansad, Regional Director. Thank you, Paul. Congratulations, sir. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you and strictly no output, no certificate of participation. But you will receive certificate of attendance. Um, you can actually rewatch our session later and take some notes uh, for you to be able to access the important details of this session, especially the certification. So at this point, friends, let us have our lunch or our health break as we prepare for our afternoon session and we will be right back at exactly one in the afternoon <laughs> 